Hi, welcome to the uh, homework for third grade module one, lesson 19. Get your name in here first. You're going to do a lot of work on this one. Um, and so you want to make sure that you know you get credit for it. Uh, there's a lot of punctuation, math punctuation in these problems. Uh, I'm going to try and use some, uh, some color coding with my pen to help you see and make the connections between the arrays and the math expressions. And uh, hopefully it'll help you uh, be able to make the connections on your own by the time we get to the end of the page. But in the first, the first couple ones at least, it's going to be, I'm going to go, I'm try to go slow, uh, and then I'm going to speed up a little bit as, as I go along. So here we go. We have, uh, it says we got to label the arrays and then fill in the blanks to make true number sentences. So here's the label for the array. These are the labels right here. And the whole array, I'm going to make this red, right? That's eight. That's going to be our 18 divided by three right here. Eraser back out because I'm going to use a different color for those. Now this top part of the array, I'm going to box it in in green. That's nine triangles divided into rows of three, and it gives us three rows. And we have the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to box that in in blue. That's nine, same thing but different triangles, right? In the same quotient. So here we have this 9 times, 9 divided by 3 is the same as that one, that one there. And then that's where this 9 divided by 3 comes from, is from this 9 divided by 3 right there. So if you add up this, the blue, um, the blue section to the, if you add the green section to the blue section, you should get the whole thing, which is the red, the whole, the whole, everything inside the red box. And now we're looking at the 9 divided by 3. That's the, that 3 is this 3 right here. And this 9 divided by 3 comes from that section right there. So that's also a 3. And 3 plus 3 is 6. So that means that 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Oh, there's 18 divided by 3. There's 6, 3, and 18 again. It's like a vitamin. You have to get one. You have to get that in every single day for your math homework. You have to do six times three equals eighteen or something with that fact family. Part B. All right. So we're looking at this whole thing. This whole thing is twenty-one triangles, and it's divided into rows of three. And here's what we've got: the first, the top section. These triangles are just boxed in in green. There's 15 of those there. And that's what the 15 is. That's our dividend. Our divisor is 3 because there's 3 in each row. And this 5 tells us there's 5 rows. This section here is 6 triangles divided into rows of 3. And there you can see how many rows there are. There are 2 rows. So we have this 15 divided by 3. There's the 15 divided by 3 right here. If I add the green section to the blue section, I should get the red. I should get everything, which is the whole thing in red, right? So if I add here, there's the blue section, and here's the green section. If I add those together, I should get what's in red, the whole thing. And... The 6 divided by 3, we figured that out. That was 2, so that's where the 2 comes from. And this 5 right here comes from that 5 right there. So it's just these are just the, <clears throat> the quotients for these division expressions right above. 5 plus 2 is 7. So when you add the 5 and the 2, you get the 7. And that means the whole thing has seven rows. 21 divided by rows of three, divided into rows of three, gives you seven rows. All right, now uh, try, now you've seen a couple examples, try pausing it and see if you can do the next one on your own. Uh, if you get stuck, you just can't remember where to start, that's okay. That's what I'm here for. 
All right, we've got 21 divided by 24, sorry, 24 divided by 4. So that is telling us that there's 24 triangles in this whole array, 24 triangles. That was pretty sloppy. Let me, let me fix that. Okay. Uh, the top section has, the top section, green section, has 20 triangles divided into rows of four. Five times four is 20, so I know that the missing factor would be the same thing as the quotient as five right there. And then our bottom section, I'm gonna stay with the same color coding here. That's four triangles divided into rows of four is one row. And that's any number divided by itself is gonna equal one. So down here at the bottom, we have the whole thing, right, which we have up here. The whole thing equals the green part plus the blue part. And remember the blue part, we had 4 divided by 4 equals 1, and that's the 4 that goes there. And now we just write the quotients for those. The 20 divided by 4 was 5, right, because we already figured that out up here. And then the 4 divided by 4, that was 1. So the whole thing is the same as 5 plus 1. The whole thing has 6 rows. 6 rows. All right. And now this one's going to go, I'm going to try to go a little bit faster with this one. 36 triangles. This top section here has 20 triangles. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Right, we've seen that one already. It was in the last section. And now we have a new one to work with here. The blue section. 16 triangles. And 16 divided into rows of 4 is 4 rows. And now down here we have the whole thing. 36 triangles divided into rows of 4 is just 5 to it's 20. Oops, messed that up. Stumps trying to do two steps at once. It gets me into trouble sometimes. 20 divided by 4, right? Because that's the part up here. And this is six. this blue part. That's what happens when I rush it. The blue part, 16 divided by 4. And now we have the 20 divided by 4 was... 5, right, because we get that from up here. And the 16 divided by 4 was 4. 5 plus 4 is 9, so the whole thing has 9 rows. And now we're matching equal expressions. Um, we did this with multiplication, and uh, now we can do it with division. It's almost the same way of looking at it, really. If we have, except, it's a little bit different. We'll look at the first one first. And after I show you one or two of these, you'll probably be able to get it. There'll only be one other one left, really. So 28 divided by 2. We're looking for divisors of 2, right? So it's going to, it can't be that one. This says divisors of 3. We want, erase that. We want divisors of 2. Now this has a divisor of 2, and these have divisors. Divisors are the numbers you divide by. So those are divided by 2, these are divided by 2. So it's one of these, but they have to add up to, our dividends have to add up to 28. So here we have 20 and 6, that's 26, it's not 28. Over here we have 20 and 8, that's 28. So 20 divided by 2 plus 8 divided by 2 is the same as 28 divided by 2. And then <clears throat> let's look at the other one. Now we know where the other, um, there's only one other one that has a divisor of 2. And that's going to be this one here. So that's, that one's going to match up. And now we're looking at ones with divisors of 3. So we have, here we have divisors of 3. And here we have divisors of 3. This one has to add, the dividends have to add up to 33. Dividends are the numbers that you divide, the numbers that you start with before you divide. Uh, so we're going to start with that 33. So we need 
our dividends in the expressions to add up to 33. And there's a 30, there's a 3, 33, and so we know the next one goes there. And just in case you're wondering, that 36, there's 30, and there's 6. So those dividends add up to 36. And finally, we got our last one. Alex uh, draws the array below to find the answer to 35 divided by 5. Explain Alex's strategy. Now, we just have to describe uh, the same strategy we used on the first page and apply it to this array. Use it for this array. So we can just say, what did Alex do? The first thing he did was he drew this array, right? So he drew it in rows of how many? Rows of five. So Alex split 35 divided by five into How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, right? Into four fives. Remember, if we're writing in unit form, we want to use a number and then the word for the unit. We're counting fives, right? Into four fives and this section is three fives. You don't have to write yours in green and blue, but it might help you to understand why I'm writing what I'm writing. So Alex split 35 divided by 5 into four fives and three fives. Then he can write this equation. He can write that four fives, right? Four fives, that's 20 divided by five equals four. And this part here. 15 divided by rows of 5 equals 3 rows. And remember what we did before with uh, up here? How the divisors had to add up? I mean, the dividends had to add up? Sorry. That's what we have. Right? You should have the 20 and 15 add up to the 35. <clears throat> you don't have to make those circles, but I just wanted to help you make that connection in case in case it helps. And then so we have 4 plus 3 equals 7. So 